Our primary actions as we approach this drying patient really comes down to are they responsive or unresponsive? Let's say you go to a patient and they're responsive and they have a pulse and they're breathing on their own. They can even manage their own airway. If we see that and they're in that category of they may have almost drowned, right? Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna keep them warm. We're gonna provide high flow oxygen to the patient and we're gonna consider, is there, could there be any other trauma here, right? I have some more bonus notes for you in a minute on this one, but think about, could there be any spinal precautions depending on where the patient is? Now, the most likely scenario with a drowning patient, they're gonna be unresponsive. They're not gonna be breathing with a severe drowning patient. They're gonna be unresponsive, and the question's gonna be, do they have a pulse or do they not have a pulse? We'll talk about cardiac arrest in a second. This is unresponsive, but they have a pulse. They got a pulse. We gotta focus on our hypoxia and our hypothermia, and consider any spinal issues would be the third. So look here. We're gonna open and clear our airway. We're gonna place an adjunct, and we're gonna start ventilation with oxygens immediately. We're gonna keep them warm. Again, consider spinal. These are our big things here. 